Hi, I'm Donna DeVere, the original creator of the Folk Art One Stroke Painting Technique. Welcome to the Let's Paint Studio right here at Plaid. Learning to paint has never been as easy as when I teach you how to load a brush with multiple colors where you can blend, shade, and highlight with one stroke of the brush. Our new program with Let's Paint Folk Art One Stroke this year is going to be all about learning how to paint 50 different types of flowers. And as you can imagine, 50 flowers makes the possibility endless to be able to paint floral designs. I'm thrilled that you've chosen to join me on this one stroke journey. So let's paint. Today we're gonna to be painting bluebells and we're gonna start with our reusable teaching guide and we're gonna go over the colors that we have, our wonderful folk art multi-surface colors. We've got cobalt U, wicker white, sap green and citrus green. And we're gonna be using a 5 8 angle brush and a two script liner today. So the angle brush is gonna be fun for you to learn how to use. And what we're going to do is look at the strokes that we're gonna be stroking right on here and we wipe them off with a paper towel or a wet wipe and then we're gonna go paint it on our surface. So let's get started. I'm going to do the first thing is just a few stems on our, our project so that we can see how we're gonna add our flowers to the stem. So we dampen our brush first, our flat brush. And with this angle brush, we have a chisel that's at an angle instead of flat. Then we're gonna decide what color we want on the toe and we're gonna put citrus green on the toe of the brush. There's the toe, there's the heel. So I'm gonna pick those two up and I'm gonna work them in. Okay, work it in, pushing very hard to get it up into the brush. All right, I've got a little bit too much green on there or sap on there so then we'll pick up a little bit more and this time we're gentle with it so that it's blended on the outside there of the brush of the brush there you go all right so let's pick up more paint and we're going to practice see my little finger here we're going to be on this chisel but what we do is we're only going to let that toe touch all right and as we come in here and push down we're going to pull that stroke very gently, almost like a comma stroke. And just remember, it says all this right here on here also to remind you when you're painting. So right here, you're gonna go slowly around, 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 and then pull it down. All right, so be sure to wipe these off as you go because it'll stick here forever. We don't wanna do that so that you can use it again. Now I want you to put it right here so that you can see what we're supposed to be doing or what you just practiced to remind you. It helps to remind you what's gonna be happening here. All right, so then I can come out here, see my little finger? I can come out here with little strokes where we want some of those little bluebells to go. All right, and then we're gonna push and pressure and pressure, okay? So now I'm gonna come back here, just pick up more when you need it and then we're going to come over here let's say we'll do a little bud over here a couple little buds all right and then i'd like to come right over here and stand up stand up stand up and have this little arched over little stem okay isn't that fun all right so we're going to wash this brush off and let's go practice the the blossoms okay so now i'm going to get that color and we're going to do it with the angle brush so the what color do we want on the toe we're looking and the white's going to be on the toe and we're going to make the tube which is the trumpet part of the flower and so i'm going to turn my brush this way so you can see me split the brush and then work it in work it really hard all right, so it goes into the brush and then pick this up and flatten it. All right, so if I'm worried about there's still a little bit of water in there, you can go just like that. And you're gonna come back here and work it one more time. There we go. All right, so you're gonna practice right here. This is gonna be a little bit bigger than that size of that stroke. A Little bit more cobalt there we go 
Now, the first stroke that you're going to do on here is I'm going to come right here where that line is, and you can watch the arrow that shows you to go to the second line. So I still need a little bit more blue, cobalt. All right. Now, this is slick. It makes this is how it feels when you paint on glass. So just remember how much paint you put on here. All right. So one, two, three. So we're going to come up with a point and then come back down. So I got to make sure that I see the white. There's wicker white on the edge. So you've made the trumpet part and then you're going to come right here and make those little uh, points. Okay. So then one, two, three, then right here, four and five. All right. So you just keep practicing that till they feel comfortable for you and keep this in front of you so you see it. Now on this one, we have the trumpet, but we're just going to have upward pedals. Okay. So when we're doing this, you can just push down and push down and get a nice look without going all the way up and down. But look, we come up and come down. And then this is the back layer. And then the front layer is going to go right in front here. So you, it gives you depth and you can see um, the back side also. Then on these buds, I'm just going to take the toe and I'm going to push two strokes on here. The second stroke could have some white in there. All right. So I think we're ready. But you, you just keep practicing until you feel comfortable. And then you're ready to come onto your project. Okay. So the first one, um, the first thing I like to do, let's pick up the colors here. I like to come in here and put a couple of tr the trumpet areas in here. So I'm going to come right in here. So remember I took the white and I went out that way. And we're going to do another one like that right here. And you can put two coats there if you feel like you need to. I like these that hang down. Okay. Okay, see how that's a little transparent? Make sure you put enough blue. Okay. I'm going to show you one of the blossoms that have a back to it. There's one, two, three. So just get some strong white. And come right in here if you feel like you didn't get enough. Okay, now let's do in front. We're going to come right along here. There's one. See how I told you you could lay it here and just pull it in? Two. And then one right here. Okay. So we're going to do a few of those. Now we're doing a full open one. Okay, so what happens here is we have numerous petals that come around and they go down over that trumpet a little bit. All right, so let's do one more here. So now we're going to come in here with just this little teeny center. See, we're going to add that little center there. So we're taking the script liner 
and we're not adding water this time. We're just going to take and tap a little teeny point here. Tap, tap, tap. And then I'm going to pull some white, wicker white. And we pull that in there. So sometimes you can have them coming out of the center. We see a little bit coming out of the half, the side views. And we have the little buds. So I've got blue with a little bit of white. We can put a couple little buds in here. up, push, there we go, see that, push, I have a few little, little green, um, little calyx around here, so they go right around, same thing around the buds, this is thicker paint, I had so much fun today sharing how easy it is to paint these flowers. They turned out gorgeous. Remember, practicing on the reusable teaching guides right over my strokes gives you so much painting confidence. Thank you for joining me here in the studio. And remember, we just learned one more of the flowers from the A to Z One Stoke Floral Painting Sets. And I would love for you to take pictures and share them on our Let's Paint with Plaid Facebook group by hashtagging Let's Paint Challenge. Come on everybody, let's paint.